Well, hello, Mr. Pelagonian back with another video. I thought I'd better do one. I haven't done an update on my channel uh, for a little while. So I thought I'd just do a bit of an update as to what I've been up to. And the main thing that I've been up to is doing a lot of work cleaning down all my plants. After the last video that I did for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society, I thought I've really got to concentrate now on cleaning up all my plants. So I have done it. I've been through everything now and cleaned everything up. So it's time to sort of just have a little bit of a review of to where we are. I thought I'd show you what's going on. All the zonals have been done now and cleaned and it, it's vital. It's vitally important now to strip all these leaves out. And I've done the bulk of them. They're all open, nice and open. The air can get round these stems and that's vital. Sorry about the low light in here. We've got low sort of uh, strong sunlight getting through the side of the glass house. Um, it's that time of year now where the sun's getting very low. Um, I'm filming this on the 4th of November just to get a bit of an idea of where we are. Um, I mean, we are only actually, what, about six or seven weeks away now from the uh, the shortest day. So the days are really beginning to get short now in the UK. Uh, we put our clocks back to GMT last week. Uh, so we're in that sort of uh, bit slightly lighter mornings, well, for two or three weeks anyway, um, but darker evenings. The days are really getting short. Uh, but the bulk of my plants now have been cleaned up for the winter. Um, a couple of my trained varieties here, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Pollock, uh, and this one's Petals. I moved this down from the end of the greenhouse, which was right up there. I've got my Regals. That's the, basically the cold end. Um, and almost the majority of my plants up there are the uh, are plants that can withstand a bit of cold. There are one or two minor exceptions. Got a couple of zonals up there. But realistically, I've just not got the room to put them anywhere else. Um, but I, I've generally got a lot of the uh, the zonal type plants uh, in this middle block nearest the eater. There's the eater that blows through and keeps this central block, I suppose, as warm as it's going to get. Um, I haven't had to add the eater on very much at this stage because we've, up until really the last day of October, the weather has been unusually warm. But strangely, since the 1st of November, uh, the temperatures have really dropped down to average, which in itself has been a bit of a shock because, you know, that's been quite a vast difference in temperature. And so we're at this stage now where it's got to be vitally, vitally uh, complicated time of trying to get that watering right. Um, some plants are still drinking a fair bit. Some of the zonals, a couple of dwarfs over here, and these are really drinking quite a bit still. In fact, this slight yellowing of leaves is actually because I'm keeping them really quite dry. But we're getting to that stage now where the day temperatures have dropped off so much now that we're in November. Um, you know, they need to be kept very much on the dry side. But it's been difficult to do because the, the temperatures have been so high, so unusually high, right up until the tail end of October. That it's been difficult to get the water in right, but I have been trying to temper it down. And that's what you should be doing now. If you've got plants um, that are in a sort of coolish greenhouse that you're just keeping the frost off or indeed covering them should we get, you know, really cold nights, which we haven't had yet. Um, you know, you really do need to keep them very much on the dry side. By colours and coloured leaf varieties in particular, they really can't handle being uh, very, you know, having temperatures much below five. Five is the absolute minimum for those, really. Uh, I finally got my Sophie Dumeres back in. This has come in from outside. This was the last one that I finally cut back a couple of my other standards to squeeze it in the corner there. But everything is cleaned up now and I'm relatively happy where, you know, the situation that everything's in. I did this uh, Phyllis the other week. Um, there is actually one that I have still got to do, one final one, and this is uh, Statburn. 
Uh, I've got a couple of leaves there that I'll strip off. I mean, it is relatively open anyway, so I'm not too concerned. It's got a lovely bloom just coming there. Very vibrant sort of uh, orange red. Um, one of the gorgeous singles that it is. As I say, it's a standard. I will hopefully be able to get that in a show. But as I've, as I've explained in other videos that I've done, um, on this channel and the Pelagonium and Geranium Society's channel. It's a real problem when it grows out of winter. It's just so slow. Whether I could get that into a good flowering state for a June show is very debatable. All my regals, of course, with all this warm weather, are growing like crazy. They will need to be potted on during the winter uh, because regals, as everybody knows, grow relatively strongly during that sort of winter period. Got a good block of them here. As I say, they're all growing away quite strongly now in these lovely sort of slightly cooler conditions that we're getting. Okay, so that's just about it. I thought I would give a little bit of an update as to where I am um, with regard to my glass house at this time of the year. Um, got a couple of uh, lovely little plants there. There's Sophie Dumeres cuttings and they're growing away. Two of those in the middle of September, they took and they're growing away. They'll need potting on at some point. So there we are. I thought I'd just show you my glass house in this early stage of uh, November.